Ever heard of crime-solving insects? Yes, bugs can actually help detectives crack murder cases. Insects are some of the best forensic investigators in the world, and forensic entomologists use them to determine the time of death, whether a body was moved, and even if a crime involved toxins or drugs. And guess what? We've got some fun trivia at the end of this video, so stay tuned and test your detective skills. Now, let's uncover the fascinating world of forensic entomology. Forensic entomology is a specialized branch of science that studies insects and their life cycles to assist in criminal investigations. When a body is exposed to the environment, insects are some of the first responders, arriving before police, detectives, or even medical examiners. These insects don't just show up randomly. Each species has a unique timeline for when they arrive, what they do, and how long they stick around. By studying the type of insects present and their stage of development, forensic entomologists can provide critical information, such as time of death. Insects develop at predictable rates, so examining them can help estimate when a person passed away. Whether a body was moved, Different insects thrive in different environments. If the insects on the body don't match the location, it's a sign the body was relocated after death. Possible cause of death. Some poisons and drugs affect how insects grow, helping scientists detect substances that might not show up in regular tests. So next time you see a fly or a beetle, remember, they might just be the world's tiniest crime scene investigators. Forensic entomologists rely heavily on insect life cycles to solve cases as different insects arrive at different times and in distinct phases of decomposition. Blowflies are usually the first to arrive, often within minutes of death. They are attracted to the scent of decaying flesh and immediately begin laying eggs, which hatch into maggots within 24 hours. These maggots feed on the body and grow in a predictable pattern, making them an important biological clock for forensic experts. Flesh flies, another key insect in forensic science, don't lay eggs like blowflies. Instead, they give birth to live maggots which accelerates the decomposition process. Their presence suggests that a body has been exposed for at least a day. As time passes, carrion beetles move in, consuming both decaying flesh and maggots, which can sometimes delay the decomposition process. Finally, long after soft tissues have decomposed, insects like clothes, moths, arrive to feed on hair, nails, and dry remains, indicating that a body has been undisturbed for months. By carefully analyzing the species of insects present and their developmental stages, forensic entomologists can estimate how long a body has been exposed, helping detectives establish an accurate timeline for a crime. One of the most fascinating aspects of forensic entomology is its ability to detect whether a body has been relocated. Insects are highly specific to their environments. The species found in a dry desert are different from those in a humid forest, and those in an urban setting won't match the ones in a deep swamp. If forensic entomologists find insects on a body that are native to a different location, it strongly suggests that the body was moved after death. For example, in one real-life case, a body was discovered in a wooded area, but the insects found on it were consistent with those from an urban environment. 
This led investigators to realize the victim had died in the city and was later transported to the forest in an attempt to cover up the crime. Even tiny clues, like the absence of certain insect species, can reveal if a body has been tampered with. If an expected species is missing, it could mean the body was kept somewhere else, perhaps indoors or in a cooler environment, before being dumped. This is why forensic entomology is so valuable. Insects provide evidence that criminals often don't consider, making them silent witnesses that can't be fooled. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question number one. What is the first insect to usually arrive on a dead body? The correct answer is B. Blowfly. Blowflies are nature's first responders when it comes to decomposition. Their highly sensitive antennae can detect the smell of a dead body from miles away, sometimes within minutes of death. This makes them crucial to forensic investigations, as their arrival marks the beginning of the decomposition timeline. Their eggs hatch into maggots, which feed on the body and develop in a highly predictable pattern, allowing forensic scientists to estimate time of death with great accuracy. Question number two. How can forensic entomologists tell if a body was moved? The correct answer is C. By analyzing what type of insects are present. Different insect species thrive in different environments. For example, urban areas attract houseflies, while forests are home to carrion beetles. If forensic scientists find insects on a body that don't match the natural surroundings, it's a clear sign that the body was moved from another location. In some cases, entomologists have even pinpointed the exact region a person died in just by examining the insects found on the remains. Question number three. Which insect is known to eat both decaying bodies and maggots? The correct answer is C. Carrion beetle. Carrion beetles, also known as burying beetles, play an interesting role in forensic science. Unlike flies that arrive early to lay eggs, carrion beetles show up later in the decomposition process. They feed on the decaying flesh of dead animals and humans, but they also consume maggots and fly larvae. This is important because their feeding can affect the number of maggots found on a body, which can slightly alter forensic estimates of time of death. Some species of carrion beetles even bury small carcasses to protect their offspring, showing just how specialized these insects are in their environment. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.